In other developments in the lower chamber, the House of Representatives has called on the federal government to immediately reverse the recent hike in the price of petrol and cooking gas, given the current economic hardship being felt across the country. It will be recalled that the price last week of premium motor spirit, also known as fuel, jumped to 1,030 naira per litre, resulting in an increment in transportation costs across major cities in Nigeria. The resolution of the House framed for the intervention of the executive arm of government followed the adoption of a motion of urgent public importance moved on the floor of the Green Chambers during Wednesday's plenary session by the minority leader Kinsley Chinda and a hundred others. Worried that the escalating fuel and gas prices are impacting the cost of transportation, food, essential goods and health care, further increasing inflation and pushing many families into deeper financial hardship. Pars are concerned that businesses, particularly small and medium-sized enterprises, are struggling to manage their operational costs due to increased fuel prices, threatening economic stability and job security. More than 100 members decided to bring this notice so that government should look at this with a human face. Mr. Speaker, Section 14.2b of our Constitution clearly stated that the primary purpose of any government is to provide security and welfare of the people. Our concern should be the welfare of Nigerians, which I believe is not only in my constituency that the masses or the poor or the people are suffering. I believe most of the constituencies, people are suffering because of this increase. Somebody who is earning 70,000 a month, his 70,000 cannot last him for three days in this country, in the same government, the same policy. I want to thank God for the life of uh, Aliku, Aliku Dankote, who has, through other investors, have come up with a refinery. I want us to pressurize on the government, because not all countries that produces uh, petroleum are in OPEC. We need to review our OPEC uh, policy. We mustn't be in OPEC because the only thing that will solve this problem of uh, uh, petroleum increase is to sell, to use what we have to solve our problem.